G'day everyone and welcome to Kitchen Oceanography where we get rid of the lab coat and don the humble apron ready for a bit of science in your very own ISO kitchen. Okay, so welcome back everyone to Kitchen Oceanography. And now is the fun part. We get to roll up our sleeves, get stuck into the experiment. Now, what we're gonna need for running this ice cube challenge is we're gonna need some ice, obviously, a couple of glasses, and glasses are key. Uh, you're gonna need to be able to see through the glassware. Glasses of the same size is also important. We're gonna need our seawater, beautifully labeled by the way. We wouldn't wanna drink it by accident and some fresh water they've just filled up from the tap. Now, speaking of, uh, and one other thing is, is the Sharpie. You'll see throughout this practice, Arvo, the importance of the Sharpie. Our seawater looks identical to our fresh water. If we don't label our glasses, we're uh, not gonna know what on earth we're uh, looking at. So I'm just gonna put FW on this one for fresh water, and you'll see that I've already labeled the seawater glass beforehand. Now. Hot tip, COVID-19, hand sanitizer. Not only is it a fantastic product, putting on your hands, rubbing along, letting it evaporate, making sure you kill all those little COVID-19 little bugs, but also whack it on a bit of paper towel when you're done, wipe it across your label, glasses are back to pristine condition, no questions asked. All right, so now we're gonna fill up our glasses. Pretty much the same level of seawater and fresh water in both. And key to this, absolutely key, is to make sure that both your fresh water and your seawater are at the same temperature, room temperature in this case. Otherwise you'll uh, muck up the experiment. So there we go with a bit of fresh water. Doesn't matter if they're too dissimilar, but want to have them pretty similar. Okay, so now is the critical part. I'm gonna put ice in each of the glasses. And the key question you have to answer is in which type of water, the fresh water or the sea water, is the ice gonna melt the quickest? And then, what is the reason for your answer? So what is your hypothesis for why one or the other is quicker? Okay, so right before we add the ice, there's just one more thing you're gonna need, and that is a timer. Because we actually want you to time how long it takes for the first, uh, the first ice cube to melt and in whichever water and uh, versus the other one. So uh, get yourself a timer. I've got one on my watch. You can use your phone, obviously. It's all pretty good, all pretty straightforward. So just getting my stopwatch ready to go. All right, so when I'm gonna do this experiment in the next video, I'm gonna add two cubes of ice because it's gonna be a bit easier to see but obviously that's gonna take longer to melt. So for you, you may wanna start off just by adding one ice cube, add a second as you wish. All right, so I'm just gonna add them in, start my timer, and away we go. So again, which ice cube is gonna melt first? The one in the seawater or the one in the fresh water? And then what is your hypothesis as to why?